we are back with more Vampire Survivors. I did a quick off-screen run because I forgot to unlock the last uh, stage. The Edunia M once more. You need to do a run with Endless. I don't remember if you just have to like load it up and exit or survive past 30 minutes. I did the survive past 30 minutes just to be on the safe side. But now that that is set up, we are going to go for completion of the 1.0 collection and to see the final fireworks. So we're up against a boss stage. And uh, I am curious as to who I'll pick. I could go with a more standard character, but honestly, I think I'm going to go with Red Death, potentially. Maybe even uh, Gyorunton, just because I probably would never use him otherwise. But you know what? Let's just go with Red Death. So, after you do a run of Embers and Endless, after you collect the artifacts, you can go up here once more. Uh, I'm going to turn off Hyper. Actually, I don't even think Hyper is a thing in this stage, but I might as well just turn it off. We're going to go with the standard music. As you noticed, uh, they sucked out the uh, the gold eggs, I think, that I had. Let's go. Something, 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 something. And some more stuff. Uh, I think it's repeating, okay? But enough talk, how about you? Alright, so we're fighting the, uh, I believe this is called the Director. So the, uh, the trick to this fight, you have to hit his mask and he will always stay away from you. Occasionally he will, like, get closer. Let's see, we are gonna go with... Hmm, let's go with the Bento Sacro. Uh, crosses. Right now, our main goal is to kind of farm out some XP as fast as possible. So we're, that's why I'm getting some uh, close range stuff. As you notice, he's throwing golden eggs at me every now and then right now. You might have not noticed it before. Uh, let's take cross level 2. Alright, next up we do want to maybe pick up Santa Water just to have a AoE attack. I believe as well, uh, this boss actually has like uh, stages to it. So at some point, some specific stuff's gonna happen. I think we actually even get like forced game overs, but we still get to continue this fight. Let's see, we got the Santa Water. Now we went into. Okay, now we can run around a lot. Alright, let's take uh, more Santo. Mento Sacro. We basically want to turn around when he gets close to us to smack him with the Vento right now. It's basically the strategy I'm going for right now. With the occasionally hitting him with some of my other projectiles. Uh, we're not getting lucky with our passives though. I really need the Attract Orb. Also, I don't think Arcanas are a thing in this stage either. So, don't rely on some combos that you might have relied on before. Staying away. You might notice the hand showing up over there on the right side. That's what's actually there. We go, hold the tractor. That's what's throwing the eggs. If you notice. Now would be nice to get the whip and the hollow heart just to have those evils ready, and then we'll just pick up some uh, other stuff. Luckily, they throw pretty weak enemies at you. Uh, let's take the spinach. We need more damage just to speed things up a bit here. 
I don't remember if there's a time limit to this stage, though. Breaking the masks. So now we're at the next stage of the fight. Now we've got to really keep moving. He's going to start like doing uh, some range stuff. That's why we want the... Uh, what's it called? The, uh, so, uh, not the Santa Water, the, uh, oh yeah, so we're gonna get insta-killed right here. I believe this is just to, uh, run you out of your revives, so you don't have those revives for the actual fight. But the attractor, as I was saying, is what we really, uh, wanted before this phase of the fight, because, uh, a lot of the time... The, uh, the candelabras that drop items will be a little bit too far. Also, same with the... Uh, uh, let's take the fire one. The, um, the enemies that are going to drop us our XP will also be a little bit out of reach sometimes. And also, we want to always keep moving, so that's the other thing. I really wish the the boss had some an actual HP bar, but oh well. Luckily, our sides are doing some mo most of the work at the moment. I can only occasionally hit him with the Vento Sacro. Uh, let's take wings to stay ahead of uh, the enemies. As long as you keep moving, you'll be relatively safe. Like, it might be scary to see all those, um, exclamation points with the, uh, uh, meteorites or whatever they're called. It's probably eyeballs actually that explode. It's probably what I'm seeing. Let me see. Yeah, it's eyeballs. Laurel's also a nice one to have. I'm actually gonna take it just to be on the safe side. Did we already win or not? Not quite yet. So here the game just starts trolling you by uh, making you uh, get hit by, um, what's it called, white reapers. But uh, you just have to keep dodging the red reapers now and chasing this guy down. As best as you can, of course. But that's why I took the laurel. I believe if you die to the red reapers, you will lose. I'm not 100% sure on that. But uh, luckily, these red reapers are not as deadly as the, uh, the ones in the actual normal stages. Uh, let's take damage. I think we got it. Come on. You're done for, dude. Just keep smacking him, I guess. I don't know if there's another stage to the fight. I think it was the last one. We just need to keep smacking him barely with our Vento Sacro. There we go. We won! Yay! Only took us about... 8 minutes, probably. And we saved the universe of uh, vampire survivors, and we never found a vampire. I always wonder, uh, when they designed the, all this stuff, like, what? What made them think about doing all this stuff? The, the yellow sign, all this, 
craziness that happens in certain stages. Yay! And we get a blast screen, but congratulations, Mask of the uh, The vampire's not here, perhaps we should find them in another world. If you'll just take my hand. Okay. We unlock the greatest jubilee. Has a chance to summon light sources. Best with luck. And I'm gonna let the credits roll. This is a pretty neat game, honestly. And, uh, but we're obviously not done. I have not done the first DLC just yet, along with uh, some of the, s the final secrets. And also, at this point, uh, I would have already bought the second DLC that came out on April 13th. Today's the 10th, as of this recording. So, three days, uh, four days from now, uh, the DLC would be out. And I will buy it because it's probably going to be like two or three bucks like the first DLC. And barely the first episode of the series will be out in uh, the 12th. So two days from the recording session of today. But I've always, I enjoyed this game. I, I just randomly saw it on Game Pass and gave it a shot. And I was like, ah, oh, this is neat and addicting. I played the crap out of it when... Uh, when I first started playing it, and then I decided, well, I played it for free through Game Pass, I might as well support the developers of this game for making a neat neat game that is uh, a good time waster, let's say. And has some uh, interesting things you can do, like, I showed off one of the things, like doing the, the boss rush with one weapon and uh, at level 1. So there's a bunch of other things you can do. Also. You can see the all the characters there at the bottom is being uh, messy. Like the panda with the pumpkin head. You might have seen some other stuff. I haven't seen some of these enemies. I'm assuming it's going to be DLC. Same with some of the characters here. And also, hi Ellie. I think we already ran through all the credits, but we'll let the song play out for a little bit. And I'll be right back. I think something else happens later on through if we let the credits run for a little bit longer, but I'll be back.
All right, I think I let enough of the uh, craziness pop uh, pop out of this uh, credit screen. So back, back, and back, and back. There we go. All right, so if we go here to our unlocks, we still need to complete the collection. So off screen, I need to get the greatest jubilee. We've unlocked it, but we haven't actually used it. So that doesn't complete the collection. So I'm going to do that off screen and that'll unlock this last character of the main game. Besides obviously the secret ones that were not quite there yet. So we've also unlocked a new secret. This one, it is only tangible in the inverted inlaid library. Good friends might then show the way. Uh, I'll do that run, or actually, yeah, well, well, we'll do that run eventually. But that one is not a high priority though, yes, to let you know. And also, we still need to do the uppercut and the other thing. But the next uh, next episode, we will do this one with the new character that we'll unlock. Also, we have enough money. We're going to buy Missing No now that we have the chance for it. All right. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and we're going to keep it going with more Vampire Survivors. Anyways, guys, see you later. Bye.